Good afternoon and welcome to the um, fall editorial update from Rittenhouse Book Distributors. Um, this is a presentation of the Rook series um, from Rittenhouse. Um, thank you for attending this presentation today. I am Nicole Gallo, the Executive Director of Sales and Marketing with Rittenhouse. And I am joined today by Laura DeRay, who is our Marketing and Promotions Manager. Um, a few housekeeping items as we get started here. Um, this is an ongoing presentation. Rittenhouse holds these online continuing education series from time to time. Um, we will be recording this session. Um, it will be made available on our YouTube page. Um, and I should also note, um, in case you want to grab it and follow along, um, I posted a handout um, on your toolbar there. There's a PDF of all of the information I'll be presenting, so you don't have to take notes. Um, if you want to grab that, there's uh, room to add any comments that you might like to make, um, but that's there. And we will also have it available after the presentation. Um, and finally, the audio is muted for all participants, just to cut down on some background noise. Um, we will have time at the end for Q&A, and certainly if you have any questions along the way, just use your toolbar and type in your question, and we'll be happy to answer that um, as we proceed with the webinar. Okay, so a quick overview of what we'll be covering today. We are going to just talk a little bit about print and digital offerings from Rittenhouse and where to access those. Um, as we go through the presentation, you'll see some screenshots of some trends, some quick updates of things going on within the industry. Um, and we will be providing an editorial update for the latest and greatest um, content that's available from Rittenhouse. So everything that is being presented today is available as an ebook on the R2 Digital Library, as well as in print um, from Rittenhouse.com. And of course, um, we have a lot of opportunities to save, and I'll be talking about those um, as we go through the presentation. Okay, just a little bit um, as a reminder or refresher, um, ordering from Rittenhouse. We have two websites, um, www.rittenhouse.com is our print website. And this is where you can access information on all print books. You can log in if you have a username and password. Um, we definitely recommend that you log in. You can see your individual pricing, your discount. Um, you can see all of your account information, um, invoice information, et cetera. Um, easy customer service. You have your order history. If you have any back orders, you can take a look at those. Um, and finally, um, a great way to save, if you order via Rittenhouse.com, you receive an extra 1% on everything that is ordered. So you get that 1% for online ordering, and um, that is reflected in your discount when you look at your discount online. So Rittenhouse.com is where to go for any print um, books. You can place orders um, and you know look anything up there by ISBN, title, author, et cetera screenshot of what Rittenhouse.com looks like. Um, if you don't have a login, we'd be happy to get you set up on that. You can just shoot me an email after this presentation and we can get you all set. Um, our ebook web website is r2library.com. Um, and this is where you can access our ebook platform, the R2 Digital Library. Um, it is a web-based ebook database. We specialize in health sciences. <clears throat> we have a wide range of publisher content there all on one platform. So while you'll find over 3 million books in print on Rittenhouse.com, we more um, selectively curate the collection, the database at r2library.com. Um, it has ebooks from more than 75 leading publishers. We have more than 5,300 active ebooks available. And there's a quick look at r2library.com. So that's where you go to access your ebook collection. Um, if you haven't already started an ebook collection, um, this is where you can request a trial um, and find out more information about the platform. Um, two business models. Um, while on um, R2 Library, we have firm ordering, which is just like ordering in print. You can purchase your individual resource. You pay once for perpetual access. Every ebook is priced individually. Um, even when they're out of print, you still have access to your archived content. We also have a patron-driven acquisition model, um, and that is where you are able to create collections of content, make them available with no initial cost. Your users have access at three sessions um, to use the content in full text. And then um, once 
that is used a third time, the title moves to a shopping cart and there's no automatic purchase. We let you know about that and you have the option to purchase that ebook or not. Um, we also have auto replenishment available um, for your PDA and also purchase collections in R2. So there's a lot of different ways to access the content I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, here we have our first hot tip of the day. Uh, the value of the entire active R2 Digital Library ebook collection is more than $2 million. So you have the ability to pro provide access to this entire collection with no initial charge um, through our PDA program. And you, can you only pay for what is used based on your local needs. So we have more than 3,000 medical books, uh, more than 900 nursing ebooks, and 500 allied health ebooks. So there's a lot of content there that you can open up for your patrons. Um, I do want to note too that on the R2 Digital Library uh, for PDA and purchase, we only have the most recent current editions available. So we'll never be selling you an older edition of content. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, any of the resources I'm going to be presenting, you can find on r2library.com or rittenhouse.com. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Oktoberfest as we get to the end of this presentation. So um, my first I'm going to start with health administration today. Um, we have a great collection of health administration titles and a lot of new content has just published. Um, and the first book is Quality and Performance Improvement in Healthcare. This is from the American Health Information Management Association. It's the seventh edition, so you may be familiar with this um, resource. It's available um, now and it covers trends in healthcare quality control and performance. It has a comprehensive introduction of theory, practice, and management of performance and quality improvement processes in the healthcare organization. Um, so that's from AHIMA and um, seventh edition. Let me get to the next slide here. Okay, the next um, book I'm going to present is from Health Administration Press. It's called the Well-Managed Healthcare Organization. And this is a ninth edition. So um, it's been recently published and it prepares readers to apply evidence-based practices um, to lead high performance in healthcare organizations for all different types and sizes. So it integrates the long-standing um, clinical elements of ex excellent care with contemporary movements um, such as establishing the transformation of your culture, continuous improvement, benchmarking, tracking, measurement, and servant leadership. So this book is very well known in the industry and um, available in print and digital editions. Okay, another title from the Health Administration Press, um, Economics for Healthcare Managers. This is a fourth edition, and it really does cover um, how good management requires a fundamental understanding of economics. So um, economics can provide a way for managers looking to effectively navigate strategy and goal-oriented decisions while also improving um, outcomes. So outcomes is a big buzzword right now and this, this book will provide you with that information. It's a practical guide that managers need to simplify and strengthen the decision-making making process for everyday issues. So um, also of note, it's written for those with little or no background in economics. Um, so it's designed to engage readers um, about today's policy and management challenges. Okay, uh, second edition, another book from Health Admin Press, Essentials of Health Care Management. This is a case book and it covers concepts and skills. Um, it's an introductory, introductory book for those preparing for entry or mid-level healthcare management jobs. So um, it's aligned with um, the Healthcare Leadership Alliance and it provides a knowledge base and develops an aptitude and interpersonal skills such as leadership, professionalism, communication, and teamwork. It also covers finance, human resources, strategy, and marketing. So it's definitely a must-have for management and health administration. Okay, in seventh edition, uh, another health admin press book, Health Policy Issues and Economic Perspective. So um, one of the best ways to understand healthcare and all of its complexity is from an economic perspective, which is the perspective of all involved parties. So um, this author describes the forces that press for change in healthcare and explains why the US health system has evolved to its current state. Um, it's got 38 
issue-oriented chapters, and it covers various aspects of the U.S. health system, um, including Medicare, Medicaid, and physician and nursing shortages. So it's a, it's a great addition to um, any health admin collection. Okay, we have a couple of resources here from the Joint Commission Resources. And um, anyone who has gone through or will be going through accreditation knows how important these resources are. Um, the first book is Infection Control Made Easy. Um, it's a basic practical guide for infection um, prevention, um, accreditation professionals and other healthcare professionals who need to understand how to comply with the Joint Commission Infection Prevention and Control Standards. So it goes through all the requirements, including the National pa Patient Safety Goals, and leadership and environment of care standards. So um, it's a must have, again, if you are um, anywhere near your um, JCO. Okay, next book is Health Administration again, another Joint Commission book. This one is the big book of checklists and it's exactly what it sounds like. It has dozens of customizable checklists that cover topics from leadership to care of the patient um, to the physical environment and everything in between. So kind of goes hand in hand with the first book. This is a first edition um, and this is a must have again if you're going through accreditation. Um, it's a quick and easy um, checklist of things that have to be accomplished. First edition available print and digital. Okay, so after presenting all of those health admin books, um, we have curated a collection of health administration essentials. Um, it has 55 eBooks. That's great for hospital collections and health policy curricula, and it does feature must-have resources from all of those publishers we just talked about, and also Jones and Bartlett, Jones and Bartlett, Sigma Theta Tau, Joint Commission, Wiley, Green Branch, etc. Um, so um, this is available for you to put on PDA if you're an R2 customer, um, and you can also purchase them in print. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit now about some allied health resources that we have. Um, and first up here is just a reminder, we've recently done some um, marketing on this, so you probably received an e-blast, but we are carrying e-books and print books from the American Red Cross. So we have a great collection um, already up and available on R2. Um, we have the first aid instructor's manual. We have the basic life support instructor's manual. We have responding to emergencies and emergency medical response. So it's a great um, initial collection here from the American Red Cross. Uh, more to come from them as we um, continue to represent them. You can find these in print as well on Rittenhouse.com. So if you haven't taken a look or put or use them, um, if you have any programs that are using any of these um, or faculty who are teaching, these are great additions um, for your collections. Okay, so we have a nutrition book, Pediatric Nutrition and Critical Care. Um, this is a fifth edition from Jones and Bartlett. It's well known and it provides a comprehensive coverage of nutritional aspects of pediatric clinical care and it ranges from the neonate all the way through adolescents um, and all pediatric disorders impacting nutrition. So it covers assessment with growth, relevant disease states, and medical nutrition therapy. Um, the fifth edition has been expanded to include evolving areas in pediatric nutrition, including malnutrition, undernutrition, and nutrition-focused physical exams. So this is a great um, addition to your collection if, you're, if you have uh, focus in nutrition. Okay, a great book from SLAC in its third edition in occupational therapy, kinesiology for, the, for occupational therapy. This is well known um, within the occupational therapy circles. Um, and this third edition covers background for understanding the kinetics and kinetics of normal human physiological movement. So each specific joint is assessed in terms of function, movement, and the overall pathology. So it covers all four occupational therapy theories related to functional motion, and it's everything really that the occupational therapists need to know. And it's been updated to reflect the most current um, new information that's emerged in the field. So um, now available in its third edition. Okay, here's a hot tip, um, hot off the presses. Um, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics has now ranked the third largest growth occupation through 2028 to be in healthcare practitioners. So that's allied health, nursing, um, and the fourth 
largest growth area will be in healthcare support. So um, any healthcare programs that you're supporting out there in nursing and allied health, it's just um, expected to continue to grow and expand um, through the year of 2028. Um, interesting uh, note um, for you librarians on the line, ninth on the list will, was education and training and library jobs. So I um, found that interesting, thought I would just throw it in just as an FYI. Um, I have a link here to the whole list and you can read all about it. Um, the BLS goes into really specific information about all the different areas um, and occupations. Um, but healthcare is definitely up at the top of the list. So you should continue to see um, enrollments, um, at least hold steady, and also um, possibly new programs cropping up on campus that you need to be aware of. And we can help you support those with a PDA collection or print. Okay, um, a big book in radiologic technology from Lippincott, Williams, and Wilkins. This is the ninth edition of Taurus's Patient Care and Imaging Technology. And this is really a must-have. It helps students develop the knowledge and skills they need to become safe, perceptive, and efficient radiologic technologists. Um, it has strong illustrations um, and a great presentation on R2. Um, and it, it really is fully aligned with the latest ARRT and ASRT standards. So it covers current trends and advances in the field, and it has an unparalleled array of online teaching and learning resources. Okay, a uh, book from Plural Publishing and Speech Language, um, Speech Language Pathology Assistance. Um, this is a second edition and it is a easy to use manual that can be used by both SLPAs and SLPA educators. So it, it's a great one. If you have it on R2, um, both your um, instructors and students can use it. Um, it defines the roles of the SLPAs and their supervisors offering additional insight into the scope of practice um, recommendations and includes discussions, strategies, and examples of real wor world issues. Okay, okay um, moving into some nursing now. A uh, lot of key front list in nursing. Um, it's that time of the year for a lot of nursing publications. Um, the first one is in cardiovascular nursing, and this is from Springer Publishing Company. And this is Fast Facts for the Cardiac Surgery Nurse. So it's for that advanced nurse, if you have any advanced nursing. Um, on campus or in your hospital, uh, third edition, and this provides quick access to information and guidelines that all nurses caring for cardiac patients need to know and use daily. It provides information for all aspects of care and it focuses on the post-operative risk management, um, which is where the nurse can really make a difference and improve care. It has a special emphasis, emphasis on patient safety. Um, so this is a great one to add. Okay. Um, a Great book from F.A. Davis, third edition, Nursing Care Plans. Um, it's a step-by-step -step guide for developing individualized plans of care while honoring critical thinking and analytical skills. It covers acute community and home care settings across the lifespan. Um, it has an assessment database for each medical condition and a complete listing of nursing diagnoses, and it's organized by priority. Diagnostic studies with explanations of the reason for the test and what the results mean and actions and interventions. Um, and of course, it has comprehensive rationales from NANDA. It covers NIC and NOC and, most, and the most recent guidelines. So this is a must have, um, again, in its third edition. Two diagnosis books from F.A. Davis. You're probably familiar with them. Um, Nursing Diagnosis Manual in its sixth edition from Dungies and Laboratory and Diag Diagnostics Test in its eighth edition, um, in Davis's Comprehensive Manual of Laboratory and Diagnostic Tests. So um, both of these are nursing must-haves. Um, they're part of our nursing must-have collection um, and available in new editions. Okay, so if you're serving a nursing population, um, whether it's academic or clinical, um, the R2 Digital Library has collections to meet your needs. Um, we represent a unique combination of commercial, association, and scholarly publishers. And we have one of the largest collections of ebooks for nursing available. And again, they're all current editions. Um, so anything you find um, within our collections is the most recent edition. So we have a nursing must-haves collection. Um, we have nursing standards and guidelines. Um, each year we update and feature the AJN Books of the Year. Uh, we have a great collection for nursing instructor, instructors called Nursing Instruction Essentials. 
um, nursing essentials for those uh, starting out nursing students and undergraduate essentials. So there are so many different collections available. Um, we know it's hard sometimes to go through all the content we have and make those selections. So we curate these lists for you and they're available online. You can just click on special collections and take a look at what's there. And again, any of them can be put on a PA collection. Okay, um, a book for family nursing, core curriculum and ambulatory care for nursing. Um, this is a fourth edition from the American Academy of Ambulatory Care Nursing. So um, this book presents a comprehensive reference to support the mission of the AAAC. Um, it has 20 chapters of enhanced curriculum and it will further drive the development and recognition of this rapidly growing specialty of ambulatory care nursing. Um, it's been organized and expanded to address the educational needs of experienced nurses and or those who are new to the specialty and it does provide a review for those seeking recertification or certification as an ambulatory care nurse. So definitely a must have there from the um, AAAC. Okay, a book in medical surgical nursing. Um, this is also from F.A. Davis, the sixth edition of da Davis's Diseases and Disorders. So this has information on more than 240 diseases and it's right at your fingertips. It provides clear, comprehensive discussions of pathophysiology and it also includes the rationales and the test and intervention section. So um, it, it definitely um, is a must have for anyone who is looking to um, provide effective care. Okay, we have a nursing administration book from F.A. Davis, Essentials of Nursing Leadership and Management, in its seventh edition. So really well known um, in nursing management. Um, and it's an easy to read and understand coverage of all the concepts that are ascension, uh, essential to assuming a leadership or management role. So it gives comprehensive practical advice on how to develop and sustain a successful nursing career. Um, it does provide historical perspectives on nursing today, um, and also on career mobility, advanced degrees, magnet status, practice levels, and professional organizations. So it really is a must have for anyone who's making that transition from nurse to manager. Okay, Rittenhouse has a great collection of books from AWAN, which is the Association of Women's Health, Obstetric, and Neonatal Nurses. So um, we continue to be one of the only places to find this content electronically. Um, and we update their editions um, as the revisions as they're available. And currently, we have the third edition of Nursing Care and Management of Second Stage of Labor. We have the sixth edition of Perioperative Care of the Pregnant Woman. We have the fourth edition of Basic High Risk and Critical Care Interpartum Nursing. And we have the eighth edition of Standards for Professional Nursing Practice in the Care of Women and Newborns, which is really the um, gold standard there um, that's available. And they're all available on R2. Um, and like any other books we're talking about, you can put them on PDA, see if your patrons are interested in um, the content, and they're available for purchase as well. So um, as new editions become available from A1, we always have them pretty quickly um, available on the R2 digital library platform and also available from Rittenhouse.com and print. Okay, another obstetrics and gynecology book. This one's from Lippincott, but it is A1's High Risk and Critical Care Obstetrics. So this um, book develops its fourth edition, top level guidelines for high risk and critically ill pregnancy women with the A1 High Risk and Critical Care, uh, fourth edition. Um, it's a comprehensive analysis of critical care obstetrics concepts, and it offers a summary of research findings and top-notch clinical expertise. So this in hand in hand with your A1 books, um, you pretty much will have what you need there for um, OBGYN. Okay, so um, interesting and, and a recent announcement, um, a little trend alert here. The American Association of Colleges of Nursing, which is also known as the AACN, and its 825 member schools of nursing have endorsed a new position statement which advocates for greater engagement among educators, employers, and stakeholders for preparing more nurses for baccalaureate and graduate degree programs. So um, the statement is titled Academic Progression in Nursing, Moving Together Towards a Highly Educated Nursing Workforce. And it really is a new call to action which highlights the need for collaborative solutions 
that enable nurses to take the next step in their educational development and to better serve the needs of the nation. So um, all of the books we just presented would help in um, moving together towards that educated nurse. Um, they're right now, um, since the fall of 2010, RN to baccalaureate degree completion programs, um, enrollment in these programs has increased 80%. So that's pretty significant in less than 10 years, um, from 77,000 to 139,000 students. So you probably, if you're on an academic campus with nursing, um, know that you have, probably have an RN to baccalaureate degree um, completion program. And also in the hospital setting, a lot of hospitals are now requiring their RNs to go back and make sure they have their baccalaureate degrees. So um, a lot going on. I put the link there um, if you want to read all about it. There's a lot. You can actually um, download and um, read the position statement. Okay, a few more nursing. Another um, obstetrics and gynecology book. This is Telephone Triage for obstet Obstetrics and Gynecology. This is from Lippincott, Williams, and Wilkins, third edition. Um, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's an easy to use manual which provides telephone triage protocols for nurses involved with OBGYN. Um, so it's a good one to have. Okay, nursing, perioperative nursing. Um, many of you know we work with AORN to provide the guidelines for perioperative practice. Um, we have the 2019, this is an annual edition. We now have that available on the platform. And it really um, does provide direction for achieving excellence in perioperative patient care and workplace safety. So this is a really well-known book. It's evidence-based. It has guidelines. Um, and it's available for individuals or teams um, and multi-site healthcare systems. So it's available on RSU. It's available on print. Um, it's part of our nursing standards and guidelines collection. So um, definitely take a look at that. Gay, uh, we have a pharmacology book, Gay Heart's 2019 Intravenous Med Medications from Elsevier. It's in its 35th edition, um, so you probably know this one. It has more than 400 intravenous drugs, and it's the number one IV drug handbook on the market. So um, if your nurses, if you're familiar with your nurses, they're probably using this book. Um, the 35th edition includes a dozen new monographs for the most recent IV drugs to be approved by the FDA. So they continually update that, um, and this is an annual. Okay, we have a second edition of Pharmacology for Nurses from Jones and Bartlett, and it really is an undergraduate nursing student basic concepts of pharmacology book. It focuses on the critical need to know information, and it draws on the experience of its authors in the fields of nursing. So um, this new edition takes a new approach to teaching the complex topic of pharmacology through its concise, easy coverage of the material and the reader-friendly design. So um, second edition, if you're working with a nursing population, definitely a good one to have. Another pharmacology book and management. Um, this is Management and Leadership for Nurse Administrators. This is from Jones and Bartlett. It's in its eighth edition. So it really is a book for nurse managers and executives, um, and it covers traditional management skills and a contemporary creative mindset. It's a comprehensive overview of the key management and tools and concepts that are critical to leading healthcare organizations and ensuring patient safety and quality care. Okay, a nursing research book. This is Nurse's Step-by-Step -step Guide to Writing a Dissertation or Scholarly Project. Um, our Books on writing do extremely well in the digital format. So this one's from Sigma Theta Tau International. Um, it's always surprising. They're usually amongst our best sellers. So you definitely should take a look at adding this one. It's in its second edition. And it really, um, you know, when nurses are working to earn their advanced degree, it's a big accomplishment. But those final stages are really daunting. This is a straightforward how-to guide. It's packed with practical steps and tools and updated. Um, and it has a new chapter on the various formats for manuscript dissertations. And it really is a step-by-step -step guide for planning, documenting, organizing, and writing your dissertation. Okay, so another hot tip. You may know this. Um, the R2 Digital Library provides access to 24 OER eBooks. That's right, they're free, they're unlimited access, no strings attached. 
So um, if you haven't already, check that out. Check it out. Um, you can add those to your collection. You can start a collection with the free eBooks. Um, of note, we have a treatment improvement protocol um, medications for opioid use disorder, and that's free. And also the new edition of the Merck Manual is available in our free collection. So um, we know that um, open access and, and OER is a big topic of discussion on campuses. Um, this is how you can participate, and we have them available. So um, check them out uh, when you get a chance. Okay, moving on to some medical books. Um, the only EK book, EKG book you'll ever need, the Thaler, ninth edition from Lippincott, Williams, and Wilkins. Um, and it's a clear, concise EKG book. Um, it's used to diagnose cardiac and non-cardiac conditions for 30 years already. Um, the ninth edition is packed with full-color illustrations, real-world clinical scenarios, and a step-by-step -step instructions. So it really is a practical guideline. Okay, um, another really um, exciting set of books that Rittenhouse has available called Teaching Medicine Series. It's a seven book set from the American College of Physicians. So you can purchase them individually um, in print, but we have them bundled together on the R2 Digital Library as a series or a set um, that you can check out all at once, put on PDA all at once. Um, it's the first of its kind, the seven book teaching medicine series that summarizes the important literature of medical education and shares the collective experience and wisdom of medical educators who are engaged in teaching medicine. So it's written for medical teachers in the office, the classroom, the hospital, and program leaders in the range of academic medicine. Um, and it covers the full, full spectrum of responsibilities encompassed in medical education. So this is a great addition um, if you're servicing medical student body. Okay, um, new book from Elsevier, it's a first edition, Comprehensive Care of the Transgender Patient. Um, this comes from the Cleveland Clinic, and it's a renowned specialist in medicine and surgery, um, and it provides an up-to-date multidisciplinary re um, resource on trans transgender health care. Um, it, it really begins with the epidemiology and the history and progresses into an in-depth review of the complex transition for patients, including mental health services, endocrine and hormone therapy treatment, and surgical options. So um, in its first edition, now available. Uh, sixth edition, Weeder's Pathology, the text, atlas, and review of histopathology. So this is from Elsevier, um, again, in its sixth edition, and it really is an introduction to pathology and it covers the basic pathological mechanisms and offers a detailed review of the systems of pathology. It's a complete effective review for today's readers and it has hundreds of high quality images. So um, it's reader friendly and the text clarifies basic and complex information. So it, it's really to help the student um, understand those challenging concepts more easily. Okay, another big book from Elsevier, um, the Mandel, Douglas and Bennett's Principles of Infectious Diseases. This is a two-volume set in print available digitally on the R2 Digital Library, again, in its ninth edition. So um, believe it or not, this book has been around for four decades, and it's really um, a must-have, um, and it provides expert guidance on the diagnosis and treatment of complex disorders. So it's newly expanded in the ninth edition. It has increased global coverage, and um, it's been regularly updated to keep the reader at the forefront of, the, of this vitally important field. Okay, so infectious diseases, rapidly changing, um, important to update these books in your collection. Okay, um, another book in medicine. This is the RHIT, Registered Health Information Technician Exam Prep from AHIMA. So it's in its eighth edition, available print and digitally. Um, and any professional who's holding an RHIT credential are health information technicians who ensure the quality of medical records by verifying their completeness, accuracy, and proper entry into the computer system. We all know how important that is today um, in this current healthcare environment. So it's definitely a must have if you're servicing that population. Okay, um, everyone is familiar with this. It's an annual. It's Nelson's Neonatal Antimicrobial Therapy. Um, it comes out every year. 
This is AHIMA, and it's a go-to reference for treating neonates with infectious diseases. It's a handy reference that provides evidence-based recommendations from the leading experts in antimicrobial therapy and the treatment of infectious diseases. So um, again, if you um, have this in print, you know how quickly it flies out of the library, so um, always good to have it digitally to support those needs. Okay, another book in medicine, the MD Anderson Surgical Oncology Handbook from Lippincott, Williams and Wilkins. This is in the sixth edition. And it focuses on the multidisciplinary cooperative approach to issues confronting the surgical oncologist. And it's organized by disease, and it's in full color in this edition, which is new to this edition. Um, it's comprehensive and concise, and it takes into account all of the oncologic issues you need to consider um, to understand each disease and relevant treatment. Um, if you are on R2, you know that you can grab those images and use them. Um, and now that this is in full color, it really, um, I think, will be important to have access to that if you are servicing a surgical oncology um, in your hospital or uh, resident. Okay, we have the 19th edition from the American Academy of Pediatrics of the Pediatric Clinical Practice Guidelines and Policies. So it's their compendium of evidence-based research for pediatric practice. So again, a must-have. It covers more than 40 clinical practice guidelines. Um, it has every AAP policy statement. It has their clinical report and the technical report through last year. It's updated and expanded, um, and it, it really is comprehensive. So it's a must-have, again, if you're servicing that market. Eighth edition of Children with Disabilities from Brooks Publishing. Um, it's, an, it's a highly anticipated new edition um, for courses on disability and is an essential resource for researchers and policymakers. It's an internationally renowned and respected editorial group, and Children with Disabilities is a compendium of field knowledge bringing together contributions from all of those experts and emerging voices in the field. So again, eighth edition, um, Brooks Publishing. Okay, we have a first edition here from the American Psychiatric Association Publishing, Lifestyle Psychiatry, um, and it really does analyze the body of evidence that supports efficacy in physical activity, mind-body practices, diet, sleep management, and um, everything needed for preventing and managing psychiatric disorders. Um, there's detailed discussions of the impact on a range of lifestyle interventions, um, including depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, and addiction. Um, so it really is a must-have for lifestyle psychiatry um, and is now available. Okay, treating complex traumatic stress disorders in adults. So this is a second edition from Guilford Press, um, and it really is a reference on the with complex traumatic stress disorders, or CTSDs, and their assessment and treatment. Um, and it's been significantly revised from the first edi edition. So there's 75% new material reflecting a decade of advances in the field. So it's um, brought together by leading experts, and they delve into ways to understand, engage, assess, and treat adults with trauma histories um, whose symptoms often include um, but may also go well beyond those of post-traumatic stress disorder. So definitely a great um, book to have. Okay, we have Inpatient Geriatric Psychiatry from Springer Nature, Nature another first edition. I mean, it really is um, offering mental health guidelines for medical professionals facing the emerging challenges presented by the aging population. So it really does um, address the facts that as the geriatric demographic is growing and there are limited resources and infrastructures um, for quality protocols. So it, it really is problematic and, and this book addresses it head on. Um, it fills the gap with guidelines for assessing, diagnosing, and treating aging patients as they present in the, the emergency room and in other settings. So um, geriatric psychiatry. Okay, Introduction to Health Policy from Health Administration Press, second edition. Um, again, covering healthcare needs in the United States um, and how they're continuously evolving. Healthcare is um, a priority for leaders at the federal, state, and local levels. Healthcare leaders who have a strong understanding of the basics of health policy 
our position to improve health and health care in organizations and their communities. So this book goes beyond just your health professional. It's an introduction to health policy and it integrates um, an introductory overview for health policy making and gives an examination of policy related issues, research and evaluation methods. So um, really great addition for any library. Okay, um, another big book here, um, Healthcare Delivery in the United States, 12th edition from Springer Publishing. And really this is designed for the graduate and advanced undergraduate students in healthcare management and administration, um, nursing, public health. It addresses all complex core issues surrounding our healthcare system and health policy, such as challenges to the healthcare delivery and organizational and politics of care and, and comparative health systems. So 12th edition, um, definitely if you had the 11th, you want to add this new edition. We have it available in print and digital. Okay, another book, another writing book, How to Write Better Medical Papers from Springer Nature, first edition. Um, and it really does guide the medical researcher through all stages of transforming their scientific data and ideas into a published paper. So um, researchers in medicine and life sciences, they often struggle to get their research papers written and published. So this really is a how-to guide. We'll walk them through writing, revising, and getting that paper published. Okay, that's it on the front list. So um, just a little bit on how you can save. Oktoberfest from Rittenhouse is running now. Um, runs October 1st through October 31st. And um, you will receive a 22% discount on a print order, and you also will receive a 22% discount on an R2 Digital Library ebook order. Um, if you have a PDA collection going during this time, any PDA book that triggers um, and that you purchase during the month of October will automatically receive that 22% discount. Um, if you're ordering in print, you get that additional 1% still um, on your Oktoberfest order. So we have a great group of publishers um, participating, and I definitely urge you to take advantage of Oktoberfest while it's going on. OKT19 is the code. You just put that um, on your order, and you'll receive that deep discount. So we've extended the promotion this year, so you have a few weeks to um, get your orders together. Um, other ways to save, we often have flash sales and special offers. Um, so if you're following us on um, our, our uh, blog on Rittenhouse.com called Rittenhouse Writes, you definitely can find out all about our specials there. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We often post things there as well. Okay, if you have any questions, um, you can submit your question on the toolbar at this time. Um, again, we have a handout attached with all of this information. Um, and we will, um, someone commented that something in the handout is incorrect, so we will update it and get it, um, get it there, get it out there for you. Any questions? You can use the toolbar. Okay, well, we thank you for joining us today. Again, this recording will be available on our YouTube page. Um, and we have a few um, additional RUCs coming up later in the fall. So stay tuned. And thank you again for joining us today.